All right, Shalom. First and foremost, let give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akiah, scattered to the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akiah. Scattered through the four corners of the globe that be like unto the speckled bird, precious word, truthfully and sincerely. And I say, uh, shalom unto you, Akim, out there. And this is a sit down lesson on this uh, February the 11th, 2022, on this Friday afternoon. And this is a uh, news article that I'm about to bring out uh, for this sit down lesson for today. And this is from uh, CNN.com. This is a uh, CNN business. And this is from the market. And the uh, highlight of this news article, and it reads, um, uh, Stock slides and oil surge shortages. I mean, oil surge on renewal fears of renewal. Of Russian invasion in Ukraine, of Ukraine, I meant to say. And this is from New York, uh, New York CNN business. It says the stock fell sharply Friday with the Dow Jones, I believe, was negative 503 points, I believe. And it says uh, the stock sharp. Uh, it says the uh, stocks fell sharply Friday after the White House said Americans should leave Ukraine immediately due to worries about a imminent invasion about Russia. The Dow Jones insurer average fell a little more than 500 points or 1.4 after the Biden administration said it will be ready to respond to uh, Russian invades. The S&P 500 and the NASDAQ ended the day down 1.9 and 2.8 respectively. And continuing on the reading of the news article for today, it says uh, the Russian-Ukraine tensions have hovered over already a shaky invest investor settlement, says John Lynch. Uh, Chief Investor Officer for Comer Comerica Wealth Management in a report. Uh, investors have been counting on a diplomatic resolution, but recent development indicate it may be wishful thinking and therefore not a fully priced into the markets. Let's say he's confessible that the rising tensions could lead to another market correction defining as a pullback of 10% for for recent highs as investors sell first as ask uh, questions later it says that all three indicating index will lower for the week ending a two week winning streak for the market and the CNN business fear a greed index which looked X seven measures of market settlement move closer to each screen. Fail, I mean, fear levels. It says, uh, Starks, <clears throat> the stock trader quickly hits the shell button at the reports that the U.S. expects Russia to move forward with the invasion of Ukraine. And I mean, said Edward more, more, yeah. If I pronounce that last name right, it says senior market analyst with the Odenia uh, uh, in a report Friday, a period of calm was somewhat expected regarding the Ukraine situation, but that doesn't seem to be in the case anymore. Um, in its warning that America should leave Ukraine, the White House also indicates that Russia could launch airstrikes before the Winter Olympics. 
in Beijing in later this month. And it says, uh, effect on energy. Rush, Russia worries spill over to cal calamities mark as well. At top exchange traded funds and Russian stocks. RSX plunge more than 7% oil prices. Spike 4% and top energy stocks such as Baker Hughes BKR Occidental Petroleum or XY and Philip 66 PX S I mean PSX were market leaders analysts has warned that the conflict in the Ukraine could threaten energy supplies including through potential sanctions as Russia is uh, and is the world number two produce of both oil and natural gas. It says oil could easily hit a uh, dollar, I mean a hundred and twenty dollars a barrel if there any disruption to oil flows from Russia. It could possibly go high as a hundred and fifty dollars. JP Morgan analyst early this week. It says the peak from Brenton crude uh, $147.50 set in July of 2008. Any further spike in energy prices would add to the already high levels of inf inflation pinching U.S. consumers. It says the uh, gold prices also rose Friday. It often rallies during the times of geopolitical turmoil since it's perceived to be safe and have cal calamity. Bitcoin XBT, which some crypto bulls have argued it's like digital gold fell, however. Uh, Comerical's notice that should an invasion occur, Calamity's price may also accelerate, laid by oil and gold. M meanwhile, uh, defense stocks rallied possible and unexpected expectations or of more demanding for military spending if there's a conflict. No drop of Roman NOC L3 Harris LHX and Lockheed Martin 8 LMT were among the winners in the S&P 500. So yeah, you know, this is uh, regarding the uh, Dow Jones. Uh, S&P 500 and NASDAQ all fell, you know, 1.43% 1. 1. of the Dow Jones and the um, S&P 500 uh, negative 1.90% and the NASDAQ fell to 2.78, you know, uh, during the uh, uh, pending fears of, uh, of a possible Russia invasion. And the uh, fear of uh, U.S. Uh, officials that works for the United States, you know, that works over there in the Ukraine over there, uh, want them to uh, leave uh, over there in that region so that's possible. So I guess the market kind of felt that, you know. So, yeah, you know, that's all I want to uh, bring out because, you know, the... Uh, stock markets they definitely been crashing lately this is like what the second day that this happened so you know hey because you know most of these uh investors they invest all their money uh with the economy with the uh uh wall street you know and it's continued to crumble you know 
So, yeah, you know, that's all I wanted to bring out. And I hope this uh, video was uh, edifying through the spirit of power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. Shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word, truthfully, faithfully, strongly and sincerely. Until next time, I will say, Shalom.